Welcome back. I put on self-tanner a few hours ago because I'm filming an outfits of the week video and I just wanted to have like a little bit of color in my body. But we are having apartment drama today. Our water is shut off for the next few hours. So I can't use my toilets, my sinks, my showers, nothing. So I'm gonna go to the gym to literally just shower and then leave because I can't like work out with self-tanner on. And so I'm not gonna like shower and then work out and then shower again. I just like, that's not, it's not happening for me today. I don't know why I'm nervous too. I recently joined Equinox and it's still just kind of like a foreign territory for me like a little intimidating I like don't know what I'm doing. I don't even know where the showers are So I'm just gonna figure it out, but I'm just gonna go there shower and leave I'm also feeling a little sick today feeling a little under the weather It's probably because I've just been like traveling a bunch um, this past weekend I went to Idlewild, California, which is about like two three hours away for my friends Becca and Alex's joint Bachelorette bachelor. It was so much fun. That was actually my first time ever going to like someone bachelorette or bachelor party. It was like a whole weekend camping adventure. We stayed in like these cute little house cabin things and just did so many drinking activities and hanging out at the lake, all that stuff. It was super pretty and so much fun. Did not get any sleep the last night. We ended up dancing in the forest mountains with glow sticks and I stayed up until like 4 a.m. looking at the stars and that was pretty crazy because I went from only seeing like a few shooting stars in my life to seeing maybe like 30 in one sitting. They just kept happening every single minute or like twice a minute there'd be another shooting star. Now we're caught up. It's Monday. Back on the grind. Let's go to the gym and take a shower, shall we? <laughs> we got me crazy. Freedom can die so hard. That was super harmless. <laughs> I don't know why I was so like spooked doing that. Wow, the shower's in there, super nice. I did also pick up a little green detox smoothie and a cold and sinus shot. I also got this pepita pesto wrap for lunch that I'm gonna eat a little later because I don't have any groceries right now. A few moments later. Whoa, this lighting is so good right now. Clearly very big hair, makeup, outfit, change up. I'm heading to an event right now and it's a very, very special one because it's Lauren's event. Lauren just came out with a home line. It's called Feel by L.E. And I'm so excited to see everything that she made. And so she's having like a little event party type situation. I'm so excited. It's gonna be so perfect and so cute. So I just finished getting ready for that. The lighting is kind of dark. My outfit's pretty quirky and funky. These pants are super wide at the bottom. They're from Topshop. They've got little white shoelaces as a belt. We've got our platform Converse, of course. These are pretty much like all I wear. And then on the top, I have this adorable mesh pearl shirt from windsorstore.com and a black bralette underneath. It's so cute from the back. I'm freaking out. Oh my God, we are here. <laughs> Oh, okay, okay. Oh, the toe, please. Oh my God, let's get a little shot of that toe right there. Oh my God, let's get toes. And if your toe isn't cramped by now and you feel like you have arthritis in your foot, you're doing it wrong. I will toast, but only a nibble. <laughs> that was enough. <laughs> Good morning, I'm gonna do a little haul, a little grocery haul, some beauty things as well. I'm just really excited because all this came to my doorstep. I feel like I've definitely shown this in like a main channel video, but this is my all-time favorite vegan protein. It tastes so, so good. It's the Vega Protein and Greens Vanilla flavored. It tastes like cookies and cream. Oh my gosh. I think I'm just gonna make a smoothie of this later today. Do you have to work out in order to eat protein smoothies? Like, can't you just like have it, you know? Clearly not a dietitian. I also want to try the raw organic perfect food green superfood juice greens powder. Oh my god, that title. Listen, I will take any excuse to add more greens into my body. The easier, the better, baby. I was also running out of cacao powder and I love adding this to like my chocolate flavored smoothies. Thrive Market Cacao Powder Superfood and it's a giant bag. I was also running out in ghee butter. I love using this to make like bulletproof coffee or honestly cooking with it too because it has such a like 
cookie butter smell and taste to it. Some, I guess you would say supplements. Yeah, we've got Sun Potion, which basically has like dopamine bean in it and some reishi. I think that's how you pronounce it, right? And then I also got a few like beauty little things, hot and rounds, a new lotion. This just sounded so enticing. Coconut and papaya body lotion. Let's smell it. I should not be using my mouth. Wow. Yup, yeah. Yeah, I'm okay with that. If I wasn't wearing self tan on my body right now, I would go. We've got some organic shaving soap. It's lavender scented. Ooh, oh, that smells so good. I've been getting more like into oils. I like diffusing them, but I still am very new to oils that you like put on your body. This is just like an aroma oil that smells like roses. So I'm assuming it's like made out of rose petals and stuff. This is where you put perfume, but. That's right. Wow. Oh my gosh. <gasps> smells like rose water. All of these goodies that I bought, I was so excited to talk about them and I was so excited to work with this company because they are doing such great things. If you guys haven't heard of Thrive Market, this is the box. There you go. It's basically like an online marketplace. So think your grocery store, but online. Groceries beauty products, food for your pets, household supplies, vitamins, supplements, all of those things. And the wonderful thing about Thrive is that every single thing on that website is discounted from either 25 to 50% from like the traditional original retail price. So you're saving money. You are literally saving money and obviously it's so much easier because you just go boop, 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 boop and then it like shows up at your door. So Thrive Market has thousands of different products that are natural, non-GMO. You can fill filter by category two if you're like gluten-free or paleo or vegan, whatever. It's so much easier just to do that whole filter online versus like going through a grocery store and trying to figure out like what you can and can't eat. And probably the biggest reason why I was so down and so excited to talk about Thrive Market with you guys is because also through this, they are helping and giving back. So with every paid membership, a free membership is given to a low-income family, a teacher or a veteran. So what they're doing is just so great. Like you're saving money you're helping someone in need and you can trust all these products too like these are all organic I mean this is like this is literally the stuff that I get by myself that costs so much you know I'm seriously such a big fan if any of you guys are on a budget or you don't have a lot of time to go out to the grocery store and find things and pick them out whatever this could be a game changer for you I will leave the link in the description box it'll be like right above the fold you'll see it it's right there and if you sign up through that link you will get 25% off your first purchase and that's already on top of like the added 25 to 50% discount that you're already getting on the product. So you're just getting even more, like a double discount, as well as a free 30 day trial. So you can at least try it out to figure out if it's your thing. And yeah, I think it's wonderful what they're doing. I'm like such a fan, oh my gosh. This is my first time trying out Thrive Market and I am just so pleased and so happy. Thank you Thrive Market for wanting to work with me and starting that introduction. I wanna make a smoothie right now. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna put all this stuff away and I have like a few things that I need to organize and clean up. Time to go clean. Update, we are in Venice right now. How pretty is this? Oh, oh my gosh. I'm currently hanging out with Mayfair Group and going to try a few different clothing articles. p.m. I've pretty much just been editing <laughs> yeah I didn't really get much content today I just you know I felt it was necessary to fill you in and just say good night you know yeah I'm gonna go to bed
last night I posted a video on my Instagram story asking for you guys to DM me questions because I haven't done a QA and a in at least like four months or something crazy like that. So yeah, I just wanted to add like a little Q&A portion into this vlog. First question, let's get into it. Have you changed spiritually since moving to LA? It's kind of tough answering this one. I feel like I don't really talk about um, my like religious beliefs or religion in general on any of my channels. I was born and raised Catholic. I used to go to church with my family on Sundays. It was Polish church. Also my religion classes were Polish. So I kind of feel like I didn't learn everything that I needed to learn and I never really knew what I was memorizing when I had to memorize like prayers. I didn't know what they were really about. So that is kind of a regret of mine because there's so much I just don't know about Catholicism. Growing up, I always felt like I had just kind of my own personal relationship and connection with God. Going into a confession with a priest and telling them my sins and all that stuff, that just, that stuff just personally never resonated with me. So that's why I just felt like, okay, I just have my personal relationship and connection with God but yeah definitely moving out here I'm open to so many other ideas I do believe in a higher power that looks out for us and listens to us and watches over us whether you want to call it the universe God to answer that question um, I am a spiritual person and do believe in a greater power and have faith in that I feel like I still have so many unanswered questions that maybe I will never know the answer to and I'm kind of okay with that so yeah yeah that's that's that how do you fully love your shape and just be confident and not mind what others think this is something that i always have struggled with and will always struggle with i think this year more than ever i've definitely learned to just become comfortable in my body i think the people that i'm choosing to surround myself with have definitely taught me so much with being confident and just made me feel um so much more in love with the body that I'm in. Wait, I didn't even think that was gonna be my answer, but that totally is my answer, is um, it really helps to feel confident when you are surrounded by people that make you feel confident, really truly make you feel valued and important and cared for. And also, I feel like it's that, and also a combination of just taking care of yourself. I've always generally like eaten very healthy and tried to work out and stuff, but I feel like my mindset on working out has definitely changed these last few months than ever before too. I've found joy in it and kind of changed my motive behind it. In the past, I would just periodically binge on working out and it was always for a certain reason, like for Coachella or a trip that I have or something. And it, it always had some sort of like, I need to be skinny for this or in fit for this um, in the back of my mind. But I'm really trying to throw that out of my brain and just realize that even if I get to the perfect level of fit and healthy that I want to be, whatever, it's not like you just achieve that and then have that forever. It is a lifestyle. You have to continue with it. I've literally had to go through that where I've been so comfortable and confident in my body, but then like a week later will fall off and then it'll start going downhill again and it goes up and then it goes down and then it goes up. And so I'm really trying to like rewire my brain just to remember how happy I am when I work out because it releases endorphins and how good I feel about myself when I eat healthy. And so that's really where I'm at right now is just wanting to work out because it makes my day better and just eating healthier because it makes me feel better. Yeah, I've been really trying to cut out sugar lately and it's pretty crazy how much my taste buds are changing. I'm not craving processed and like refined sugars as much as I used to because man, I used to have the sweetest tooth, but it's really starting to like slowly change, which is pretty, pretty cool to admit and like realize about myself. Who are you actually dating? I'm not dating anyone. I'm single. I know it probably looks like I'm dating Lucas some days or Stefan some days. Guys, I have so much love to give and I have so many people in my life that I love. Just because I post a photo with a boy and like put a heart on the caption and I'm hugging them, whatever, doesn't mean I'm dating them, but like it does mean that I love them. I have such different and special connections with at least those two, as well as so many other boys and girls that like, that's just who I am. It's actually interesting because in real life, I'm just naturally such a like, 
touchy person and I always just want to be up in everyone's grill and just giving love to everyone and so posting those sort of Instagrams or whatever just feels so natural to me it's not like oh I want to do this to make everyone think that we're dating or whatever like it's just genuinely like they're just some of my best friends and so I forget that some people will only see that as oh she must be dating that person but now she's dating that person oh my god what's happening it's all very friendly but also with so much love that's like the best way to describe it I just I love a lot of people. <laughs> I think even if I were to jump into something that I would see as a long-term committed relationship where we're not seeing anyone else on the side, I feel like I wouldn't even be as public about that because I don't want to put that in the public eye and then possibly something goes wrong, then your breakup is just open to the entire internet and I've already had to go through that. So that's my answer. <laughs> Actually, one more note on that subject. I've laughed with both Stefan and Lucas and we've all said that like, whoever my future boyfriend is that I'm gonna be dating, either they're gonna love them or hate them because my relationship with them is just not gonna change. That's that, like they're in my life forever. Yeah, we always say like when the right one comes along, we'll know because they'll just completely accept my friendship and connection with them and be confident with it because like they're not going anywhere, you know? Okay, next question, we went too far into that. How do you think you've grown since you've moved to LA? Um, I think I've grown a ton, I mean, wow. It's I think my five-year anniversary just passed like that's crazy to me and time definitely goes by so quickly Moving to LA is entirely its own monster But if we're talking just moving out of the house, I mean shoot I've learned so much I've definitely become more responsible with things that you just have to deal with paying bills and Taking care of your car when you have to change your oil or rotate your tires or you get a flat tire You miss a payment on something or doing taxes. I mean all of these like adult things you just learn that you have to do them and the second they just pop in your face the sooner you do them the better i've definitely learned to keep my environment and home very clean i'm in a great groove as far as how i balance that out and that's a huge thing because you're entirely accountable for how your apartment looks and your mom's not going to clean up after you and do your laundry and all those things and then i think the biggest one is probably time management knowing how to split up your time between putting in work, making time for friends, giving yourself weekends or working on the weekends. Yeah, I think that's like the biggest lesson that I've learned living on my own is knowing how to properly divide out my time and being smart and efficient with it because it's very easy to get distracted and lose a lot of time that you just never gain back. So ever friend zoned someone more than once and they just didn't get it, lol. <laughs> to an extent, like yeah, this has definitely happened. I think because I, I naturally am like a flirty person. Like I flirt with everyone, boys, girls, just everyone. That's my personality and the way that I just kind of banter with people, like it is just flirty. And so a lot of people will take that as, oh, she's into me. And then also I like fall into this weird thing where I still have a huge part of me that's a people pleaser I definitely fall into the pattern of like when someone likes me I subconsciously start giving them like the benefit of the doubt and kind of convincing myself that I like them back because it would be easier to do that than for me to not like them back like I know how messed up that sounds but it's just this weird thing that my brain does and that's like a huge I also saw another question that said like how has 2018 been treating you so far and that's one of the biggest lessons I've learned this year I've been learning so so much about myself I've really come to such a great place of valuing and respecting my emotions and opinions and feelings and thoughts I too often push those aside and put others in front of me it feels really really good to do and say what I want to say I know that sounds so dumb and like uh, not everyone has to deal with that like some of you might be watching this and being like oh are you kidding hello duh but I don't it's something that I really uh, would trip up about I've been very good at being honest with myself and just being blunt and honest with others as well because why would you want to tell someone what you think they want to hear if that's not actually the truth you know yeah not that I was ever like a liar or anything but I definitely would like sugarcoat my feelings about someone or I don't know I now I'm getting too vague but you guys get what I'm saying how are you able to find your style I love it so much I also love you love you too Savannah I feel like I uh, <laughs> I just wear so many different things like I'm literally wearing overall shorts right now with like just a t-shirt I feel like at this point I just wear whatever makes me feel the most comfortable also I've definitely 
finally realized that, wow, buying clothes in your size is a game changer. I, I weirdly think that this started in me when I was a little girl. I definitely know my mom fell into this, and so I would kind of also do it, and then it really just kind of messed with me as far as like my perception on body image and fitting into clothes, but I used to always buy clothes that were too small on me or too tight to try to motivate myself to lose weight and then eventually fit into them. I literally did this until, I don't know, a year ago. I'm finally now comfortable with being the size jeans that I am, and now when I buy jeans, I love it. They fit so well, who knew? Like, how crazy is it that I had to learn that by like 22, but um, yeah, I've like finally found peace in knowing, ooh, I'd rather buy that shirt in a large, or I'd rather buy that shirt in a medium, or this one's gonna be good and small. Like, I literally wear clothes in every single size because now I just think about how my body is gonna look in it, how comfortable I'm gonna feel in it, and if it's gonna make me feel confident. These shorts, I wanted them to be a little bit baggier at the bottom, so I got them a size bigger, and I would have never done that living back home in Chicago. It's, I don't know, it's so crazy. I always thought I had to like fit into being an extra small and small, like how dare I go into the mediums. What was the question again? How was I able to find my style? So yeah, I feel like I definitely base my style off of trends that are happening, funky colors. I just like switching it up a lot. Yeah, I feel like my style will just always change and that's just, that's just how I like it. Do you think you will always be a YouTuber? What would you be if you weren't? I do think I will be around for a very long time just because YouTube still brings me so much joy, especially these vlogs. You guys know how I feel about them. But as far as uh, my end all be all goal, I mean, you guys know how much I love acting and I definitely want to pursue that for as long as I can. And I don't wanna throw myself into only two of those boxes because I also really like creating stories and I'm learning to write and I would love to produce and who knows maybe when I'm much older and more experienced with this industry and stuff Maybe I'll want to like direct my own things But that being said none of that will ever give me the connection and feeling that YouTube brings me and so I hope to do this for a very long time and just keeping that connection with you guys because I've grown up with so many of you It's crazy when I meet you guys and you're like I still remember when you lived in your blue bedroom. Like I've been watching you for that long and that makes me so incredibly happy and grateful and just like mind blown. I really feel like my content is growing as we are growing together, which is the coolest part and so yeah. Yeah, that's my answer. I'm going to end off this segment here as well as this video because <laughs> this vlog is getting way too long. I think we can all agree on that. Um, I love you guys so much and I'll see you for a new one very soon. Bye.